And also breaking tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court has reinstated a requirement in South Carolina that absentee voters provide a witness signature along with their ballot. Here with reaction, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham. Senator Mitch McConnell is clear. <laughs> you have been clear. October 12th, the hearings begin, which would lead us to a final vote um, at, by the end of October. Am I mistaken on that timeline? Uh, no, uh, I want you to understand we're going to start the hearings October the 12th, a week from today, safely. If members feel uncomfortable participating in the hearing in person, they can do it virtually. We've done that a bunch this year already in the Judiciary Committee. Judge Barrett will be there in person. I will be there in person. We'll set the room up for social distance, distancing. We're going to move on. And as to Senator Schumer, if you can't see through this, Sean, you're just not looking very hard. I don't remember Senator Schumer asking the protesters to be uh, tested before they came to my house and broke out my window. I don't remember any Democrat worried about testing during the riots. So this is an effort to deflect and delay. It will not work. She will be confirmed this year. We start on the 12th. She gets reported out of the committee on October the 22nd. Democrats will have plenty of time to ask her hard, relevant questions. If they try to destroy her, it will blow up in, her, in their face like it did with Kavanaugh. I'm excited about the hearings. I want every American to see Amy Barrett and how qualified she is. So around October 26, is that about a safe date to look for a final, final vote on, in the Senate on this? Well, that's up to Senator McConnell, but it'd be on the floor October the 22nd. And Democrats are trying to destroy her already using her religion. Uh, the Democratic Party is trying to take back the House, the Senate, beat President uh, Trump. Uh, they're having an insane amount of money from this Act Blue site, raised over $300 million since Justice Ginsburg passed. My opponent in South Carolina, of all places, will raise $100 million. So if you're out there and you want to close the gap, go to lindsaygram.com to help me, because I'm going to be fighting for Judge Barrett. I'm going to be standing up for conservative judges, and I'm going to help President Trump get this nominee through and on the court. It will be a tremendous accomplishment for President Trump in our country to have Amy Barrett on the Supreme Court. It's going to happen. I thought you did very well in your debate over the weekend. Uh, Congratulations, Senator. Thank you. Thank you.